know the old saying about when a door closes, a window opens? You know, the problem with that saying is it's not really telling you that you created that door and you closed it because you were thinking correctly and because of that, you do have an opportunity, a window of opportunity. But the reason why you have a window of opportunity is because you will create it. And because you are looking through a window and a window of opportunity is kind of like your imagination. You know, think about it. When you picture a picture in your head, it's really just like, you know, a, looking through a window. So if you can picture what your opportunity really is and what you really want, that's how you will create the actual opportunity. So if that's true, then it's really not so much about the opportunity itself, it's really about the emotional state of having the opportunity. And if you can have that feeling and pretend like you already have your opportunity, well, then that's how you attract the very thing you want. So today I thought, wouldn't it be cute if I made a faux real window here in my dining room? And this project would be great if you have like a room that needs kind of like lighting, natural lighting, or has no windows, like a basement. And we're gonna do this to make it look like natural lighting coming in. So, as a reminder, that we create our own window of opportunity. And because of that, we're going to do that with our faux real window. So to create our window of opportunity, Find you an old door or a window. I found like one that was a French door because I wanted it to be kind of long. And I painted it on um, ivory, kind of, or off-white to go with my trim here. And then I took a shower curtain that's frosted but clear and I stapled it to the back side here. So to create light coming in like from a direction, I actually found a LED light that actually puts off hardly no electricity and I'm going to put it up kind of to the top, kind of like it's mimicking light coming from, you know, above a porch or something. And I've got a little piece of wood here that I'm, I just screwed here on the side where I can mount it so it goes on the side. So when the, the door goes onto the wall, you will actually see the light coming in this way so it glows. You want to make sure that you can have enough room in there so the light can glow with the shower curtain. Mount another piece of wood with heavy duty brackets these are the ones that are going to go on our wall. And when we hang this, we've got to hang it on a wall stud because it's going to be kind of heavy. So you got to find that. And that's what I, I use for this because it's a little more sturdier. So to create the overall kind of lighting effect, you need to go find some rope LED lighting. And don't get the yellow. You want it to kind of like cool white. And I actually found one that is exactly 18 feet. And this is the perfect length to go around our door. And you use the little brackets that it comes with, and you can just line it up around there. And once you have that, then all we have to do is hang it. Okay, before you mount your window, paint behind the area, like I did here, where you're gonna mount the window white. This way, the LED light really makes that white look like it's natural lighting. So it really will add to our lighting effect. And, optional if you have like one of those things that have at Christmas time a timer you can time it exactly the same time that the Sun rises and Sun sets so it's up to you well the best thing about any window is of course the window treatment that's right gotta hang my for real draperies I'm gonna show you how beautiful and real this makes this window so the next time you accidentally shut that door of opportunity Remember, it's a whole lot easier to create a window of opportunity to look out of. And yeah, I think it's about high noon here. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching. Bye.